Batfleck. Man. What is happening in that world, Brian? When you, when I was, when I asked you what's on the list for today and you said that, I was like, what about Batfleck? I didn't go out, out to look for, I didn't, I didn't want to read anything about it. What is happening with that? Um, well, you know, Henry Cavill makes his return official within 24 hours, a new set of rumors that Ben Affleck might be coming back as Batman in some capacity beyond what he's already shot for Aquaman 2, beyond his involvement in the Flashpoint, that the Ben Affleck, Batfleck Batman might live as its own property that will be distinct from the Robert Pattinson, Matt Reeves Batman. I don't get it, man. Like, on the one hand, they keep trying to bury Zack Snyder in the Snyderverse. And on the other hand, they keep running it back with his personnel. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> other than David Zasloff seems to love stars. And Ben Affleck, fresh off his remarriage to J-Lo, his star power is high. But what are we doing? Really? Like, and I think he was a decent Batman, don't get me wrong. But I, again, I feel like the ship sailed and we're just making it confusing if we're now going to get a Batflex solo film when the Matt Reeves Batman verse is off to the start that it's off to. Why? Not know. confirmed. But that rumor has surfaced again. I don't know, man. I already <laughs> said that if they wanted to put in a new Batman, that that dude, um, what's the dude's name? Alan Richardson? Or Alan Richardson. Yeah, yeah. From, from Reacher. Yeah. He would be perfect as your Batman. Perfect. I would love to see his Bruce Wayne. Um... There's just so many other ways to go with this, and yet they want to go back. They want to run it back. Like I, I mean, you said it before. You, you chose a direction that you think this is going to go, and this is going, and that is that this is going to get worse. This feels like worse. That's not a knock. Again, it's not a knock on Ben Affleck as a performer or, or the Batman job that he did. It's just he was in the wrong place at the wrong time with his take on the character. I don't understand why we we have an excellent Batman world, which is fledgling. It's exciting. We don't need this. No. And I don't like. I don't. I actually. I actually think he'll be quite good in Flashpoint. I've heard he is good. I have no doubt that he actually will be quite good in that movie. Again, one of the interesting parts of that is that he is not going to be directed by Zack Snyder. So it's going to be interesting to see what sort of Batman we see him playing in, in, in that. But I assume he'd be directed by himself. That would be my guess. If yes. Doing this. Again, we just have to wait and see. But... <laughs> That's going to be another two years. And then, okay, we get a dope Batman. Where do we go from there? Well, I mean, there's a there's a cynic in me that says, are they just doing this because they want to copycat No Way Home? I mean, isn't that what this feels like to you? It's like, we, no. want Keaton on the, we want Keaton on the string. We want Affleck back. And we've got our pats. And we just want to create our version of No Way Home because that made almost $2 billion. No, <laughs> I hope not, the, but I'm just asking the question. Uh, nah, I mean, I mean, if they if that's what they're thinking, then hey, you gotta make it a hell of a good way. You gotta, it, it all has to make sense, it can't be forced, Brian. And that idea is sounds just it just sounds forced if that's where you're going, you yeah. know. And if you want to, if your goal is to be more consolidated and more targeted and more focused the way that, that Marvel has, having 
multiple Batman and multiple Superman sounds a lot like what the outgoing people were trying to do. So I yeah. just, at, that, at some point, I'm kind of just like, why don't you just call Zack Snyder? Like, we, we you take, you just keep it everything he did alive. And the only thing you want to disavow is him because of you didn't like how the Snyder Cup played out. But at the same time, it's like, you're the one feeding that monster and keeping it alive. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's just why I say, like, they announced these heads, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't envy these guys at all. Like, this is a this is a mess. Yeah. So. Did you take the job? Oh, uh, yeah, because we love the genre. We love the... I mean... <laughs> Listen, but, but think Michael about Keaton, it. Would you, Michael Keaton got $2 million for a Batgirl movie that never got released. I'm taking the job. <laughs> Make no mistake. 